Hello, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today we are practicing a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. For today's lesson, we will have four steps. Step one, I will read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions about the conversation. Step three, we will read the conversation together. And step four, we will shadow the conversation, all right? Oh, and today's theme is the time. The time. Okay, are you ready to start? Yes? Okay, let's start. Okay, Joe is first. Here's Joe. Okay. Sue, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. Oh, no, I'm late. What are you late for? I have a golf game at 7 o'clock. Uh-oh. I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. I think you can get out the door at half past 6. I can get there at 7 on the nose. Step on it, Joe. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, great. Okay, Joe is first. Sue, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. Oh no, I'm late. What are you late for? I have a golf game at seven o'clock. Uh-oh, I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I can get there at 7 on the nose. Step on it, Joe. <laughs> okay, great. Now, I will ask you questions about the conversation. And I will um, ask you the questions twice. The first time, I will just ask the questions. And then the second time, I will give you time to answer the questions. Okay, so here we go. So now, I'm just going to read you the questions. Okay, question number one. What time is it? What time is it? Question two, what time is Joe's golf game? What time is Joe's golf game? Question three, how long will it take Joe to get ready? How long will it take Joe to get ready? Question four, when can Joe get out the door? When can Joe get out the door? Question five, when can Joe get to the golf course? When can Joe get to the golf course? Okay, good. Now I will ask you the questions again and give you time to answer, okay? Question number one, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. Question two, what time is Joe's golf game? It's at seven o'clock. Question three, how long will it take Joe to get ready? He can be ready in 10. Question four, when can Joe get out the door? He can get out the door at half past six. Question five, when can Joe get to the golf course? At seven on the nose. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, now let's read the conversation, all right? So I will hold the conversation up to the camera so we can read it together. You can see it. Okay, here we go. So Joe is first. Let me get it straight here. Okay, it's straight. Okay, Joe is first. Sue, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. Oh no, I'm late. What are you late for? I have a golf game at seven o'clock. Uh-oh, I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. 
I think you could get out the door at half past six. I can get there at seven on the nose. Step on it, Joe. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, here we go. One more time. Sue, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. Oh, no, I'm late. What are you late for? I have a golf game at seven o'clock. Uh-oh, I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in ten. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I can get there at seven on the nose. Step on it, Joe. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. Oh, and let me read you some keywords, okay? Here are some keywords before we do the shadowing, okay? Some of the keywords are, what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning. Late. At seven o'clock. Be ready in ten. Have to rush at half past six. At seven, on the nose. Step on it. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. These are the key words. These are like time expressions. What time is it? Six o'clock in the morning. Late. At seven o'clock. Be ready in ten. Have to rush. At half past six. At seven, on the nose. Step on it. <laughs> okay, good, good. We'll, we'll go back to the keywords, okay? We'll do those. We'll go back and review those at the end, okay? So, but now we will do step four, which is shadow time, shadowing. So, for example, you can see behind me on the whiteboard, here's my arm, and behind my arm is my shadow. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is moving at the same time as I am. So you will be my shadow. That is, you will speak at the same time as I do. You will not repeat after me. You will speak at the same time, okay? Okay, great. Here we go. Ready? Let's do a countdown to shadowing, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Sue, what time is it? Sue, what time is it? Sue, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. 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 Oh no, I'm late. Oh no, I'm late. Oh no, I'm late. What are you late for? What are you late for? What are you late for? I have a golf game at seven o'clock. I have a golf game at seven o'clock. I have a golf game at seven o'clock. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in 10. Be ready in 10. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. I have to rush. I have to rush. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I can get there at seven on the nose. I can get there at seven on the nose. I can get there at seven on the nose. Step on it, Joe. Step on it, Joe. Step on it, Joe. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, let's look at it again. And actually, the underlying words are the keywords. Okay, so let's look at the the conversation one more time and you can see the words that are underlined well those are the keywords okay so let's do it again just to make sure sue what time is it it's six o'clock in the morning oh no i'm late what are you late for 
I have a golf game at seven o'clock. Uh-oh, I'll make you breakfast so that you can be ready in ten. Thanks, Sue. I have to rush. I think you can get out the door at half past six. I can get there at seven on the nose. Step on it, Joe. Step on it, Joe. Okay, very nice. Okay, great job. We did a lot today. That was great. We did, um, we did reading. Well, listening, right? So you listened to the conversation. I asked you questions, so you had some listening comprehension. So that means uh, how much did you um, know from the listening? How much did you remember from the listening? We did some reading, right? And then we did shadowing, which is speaking practice. Okay, so you did a great job. And um, oh, and if you want, if you like what I do, if you enjoy my videos and you want to support my channel and support what I do, um, please join the channel. Well, um, press the join button to read about all the details and information about joining my channel, okay? And for worksheets and flashcards, please check out my website, markkulik.com. And of course, please subscribe, share, like, and all that jazz, all right? And please come back for another conversation between Joe and Sue. I do them every week, and so make sure you come back every week to check out the conversations between Joe and Sue, and you could always look at past, watch past um, conversations between Joe and Sue, okay? So I really appreciate your kind support. Take it easy, and I'll see you again for another conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. Okay, take it easy. Bye.